So, congratulations. You've decided to share your incredibly boring life with the world. Wow, look at you. Well, you're gonna need a camera for that. And boy, do I have some ideas on which is the best. The focal length is what matters here. There's a lot of vlogging cameras out there that suck because of the focal length. Let's discuss it. Why do you do it? Do it. So before we get started today, I just have to say, this is my first time taking the Sony A9 outside, and I must say, not having a flip-out screen, kind of a big deal. I don't think it's something I've mentioned before, but that is really handy to judge exposure. That's the big one. It's not just focus. That exposure, that'll get you. That'll bite you. In hindsight, was filming at f2.8 on a full-frame camera in a sunny day in Thailand a bad idea? Sure. Sure. Apples to oranges. I wanted the blurry background. Let me have it. Too bad the background's all white. We'll never get to see it. So we're a little overexposed in the video. I should have bumped up to like f8 and then let the auto ISO brighten me shall I return to the shadows where I was born. So enjoy the perfectly exposed video that is about to unfold beneath you. So there's a bunch of cameras out there that are touted as vlogging cameras. And in my opinion, did I just touch my lav mic? Oh my God, rookie shit. The Canon G7X Mark II and the Sony RX100 Mark V, they're both like, oh look, small camera, flippy screen, amazing. They both got no mic jack and they both have a 24 millimeter focal length at the minimum. In my opinion, that's too tight. We're at 16 right now. This is fun. This is wide. You can see a whole bunch of stuff. Let me show you what... Shut up. Now we're at 24 mils. This is 24 mil land. In my opinion, it's a little tight. I guess if you're out here, but then you're fully extended on that arm. You're fully extended on that arm. And that's kind of annoying. It gets heavy, especially if you're using a beast. We're on the Sony A9 with the 16 to 35 at 24 mils right now, f2.8. Stabilization, not that great. That rhymed. So 24, this is what I'm debating because this lens is a little heavy for vlogging, unless you're Hercules like I am. He's so strong right now. In my opinion, somewhere between 16 and 20 is the perfect vlogging range for most people. This is 16 mil. Look at all that stuff. It's glorious. Now we're going to switch to 18 mil. We're at 18 mil now. Still glorious. Possibly even less distortion. Is that possible? 18 might be my preferred range. 16 can get a little wide. Now let's go to 20. This is what that Panasonic new lens, the 10 to 25, is going to look like at the wide end. It's a 20 mil equivalent. We're at 20 mils right now. Still getting some stuff. Still getting some stuff, but when we go into 24, now we're getting less background. It's probably gotten a little blurrier too, possibly. I don't know how cameras work, but is it too tight? That's what he said. Nope. Here's 28 mil. If you wanted to get that Sony 28 F2, this is what that would look like at 2.8. You loser. You stopped up like a loser. And now we're at the unthinkable 35 mil. Sure, it's cinematic as F, but it's too cinematic. You don't get to see any of the glorious background. Oh God, I'm at F16 and one over 500th of a shutter speed. I wanna try the G85 comparison. How the hell are you supposed to expose for that? I don't have ND filters. I just wanted to do a side-by-side -side with the G85 and A9 after reviewing the footage yesterday, I gotta tell you, that A9 made me look like I had leprosy or something. I don't know why my skin looked like I was 90 years old. What the hell, Sony? Make me beautiful, that's your only job. It's your only job. And it was so shaky and weird wobbly shit. I think because the lens is so heavy, the sensor is like... fucking waving around like an ocean. So... I'm leaning away already from the Sony. 
Just go Panasonic G85 and jump in the pool of life or not. And I hate to even have to subject you to this test, but we got the wide, get off of me. We got the wide angle converter. Oh my God. It's so beautiful and it makes the lens so sharp. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I, I scratched both lenses. That can't be good. We're so wide angly converted right now. This is fantastic. What a great purchase this was. Oh my God. We're so wide angly converted right now. It's so beautiful. This is fantastic. How are you doing? How does that look? Is it doable? I don't know what this is equivalent to because it said it was a 0.43 converter, but that's a lie. It's much less than that, like 0.70. If I can figure out the math, we'll do it and I'll post it. Okay, after doing some sleuthing around here, I've replicated the shot. The first one, this inner box is the 50 mil equivalent mitocon. And then when I put the wide angle conversion on, it gives me that extra bit. So that is basically a 76.1% crop. So that is some shit. I never would have bought that thing. It was supposed to be a 0.43. So it would have taken my 50 mil lens and made it a 21.5. It would have basically given me that Voigtlander. 10.5 mil f 0.95 and instead we end up with this 0.761 crop so that was a 38 mil lens you were watching outside but i was holding it much further away than all the other tests all the other ones were like handheld but the tripod extended it back to our regularly scheduled program so I have no idea what focal length this really is. I'm still here. I'm guessing 26. How's that looking? It's so busy here. This is embarrassing. So I have no idea what focal length this really is. I'm guessing 26. How's that looking? It's so busy here. This is embarrassing. So in my opinion, if you're on the Sony, you got a Sony full frame, a7 III, your best two options are going to be that Zeiss Battis 18mm f2.8 or the new Sony 24mm f1.4. Neither are stabilized, unfortunately. God, that just hurts. It hurts the gut. So if that's more important to you, then the 16 to 35 f4 would be the only other option. Cause this one isn't stabilized and as we walk it's doable but it's not perfect it's not like the sony x3000 which we will test in a second but it's doable so this is what the 18 would look like if you had the zeiss Battis, exact same specs 18 mil f 2.8 life is good and then the 24 mil 24 mil vlogging in my opinion it's just not as fun and also for the sit-down videos. The sit-down videos, 18 is more engaging. 24, you're a little distant. It's like, stay away from me. I'm too good for you. Can you hear those advertising trucks? Ridiculous. So here's the 24 mil. If I decided to crouch down beside a pool and pee in it, this is what this footage would look like. Whereas you zoom out to an 18 mil. God damn it, my battery ran out right when I was testing the 18. So we're on the Sony X3000 now, which is a 17 mil equivalent. You can't beat this thing. I sold my G7X for this, to fund this purchase, and I couldn't be happier. The stabilization is so key. We'll do a little bit of side-by-side -side tests against the Sony. I've never done that outdoors, but in good light, which this isn't perfect light. You can't beat this thing. You can't. You wish you could. So in my opinion, all those one inch sensor cameras with the 24 mil, no, don't even waste your time. Wide is best, 16 to 20-ish. 
we'll see. I'll review that 24 footage because I would like that Sony G Master lens 24 f1.4. Tell me down below what your favorite vlogging focal range is and for just human interaction in general. I find the the wide angle lenses are just so much more engaging. It's like you're there. People can tell when you're super far away. With my Panasonic G85, I need to film on that 50 mil equivalent and it's way back, it's like 10 feet back there. And then yeah, sure, you look a little more professional. That's not what you want. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. So yeah, it has its place, the 85 mil in a professional Oh, join my business team video but if you're just sharing your life you want people to relate with you and that's what this does wide angle and the audio so important with the 17 mil this thing is right there that's how far we are a little bit we're talking nine inches here then you get good audio even though there's traffic in the street motorcycles driving like assholes why do you take the muffler off Put it on, I'll muffle your dog, then you'll learn. 24 millimeter fully extended versus 18 fully extended. Now, what if we bring it in a little bit? 18 brought in a little bit. First 24 brought in a little bit. Fully extended 35. That is rough. The closer the camera is to your face, the better. And you can't do that with the 24 mil. You'll be super close. So, we're done. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Sony X3000 for the win. Affiliate links everywhere. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.